Hey, hoodies, what's up? What's up? Happy Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. Let's talk about it Tuesday. Come on in and make sure you like and share the video, please. And thank you very much. And of course, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget that we do have members, please. And thank you very much. But yes, y'all see the title of the video, Where in the Heck is Diddy? Where in the world is Diddy? Have they found him yet? Has anybody laid eyes on Diddy? Has anybody? I've been searching the articles on all the websites, CNN, everywhere, and no sight of Diddy. Or maybe somebody knows where he is, but like the authorities, and they just haven't released that information yet. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if somebody's hiding him. I don't know if he's just chilling at his homie's house or if he's with his lawyers, attorneys. Um, we don't know what's going on because there isn't like any warrants out for him, right? So they're not listening. They're not looking to arrest him as far as we know, as far as we know. Uh, right now, it's just the investigation. You say you think he's in the closet? <laughs> What's up, Maurice? <laughs> you think he's in the closet? Hey, yeah, a lot of them. Boy, 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 boy. A lot of them is in the closet. But what can Williams say? <laughs> Man, this is the year of truth. This is the year of exposure. Man, okay, so we don't know where Diddy at yet. I don't know where Diddy at yet. I was hoping by the time I got off of work that it would be all over the news about where he is. But so far, I don't know. I don't know. Now, there has been some updates, though. So, you know, we'll discuss, you know, a few of the updates so far. I did go live earlier today on my lunch break. Um, I think that like it was only like 30 minutes, but I had just talked a little bit about some updates that they posted on a uh, line, also including more allegations and more people being added to a, a lawsuit. Um, but what we found out earlier, let's see, I got a couple of websites pulled up here that I'm going to be reading from. Okay, first of all, first of all, oh yeah, don't forget to like and share the video, y'all, please and thank you. <laughs> on the way in but um yes yeah, so hold on hold on one second oh shoot hold on okay so one of the um what websites that i ran across this was updated at 1 56 p.m today now, this video, I mean, this website is titled Diddy's Private Jet Touches Down on a Caribbean Island as Rapper's Home Search by DHS. Now, we already knew that his plane had touched down in Antigua, uh, but we had saw him at the airport the other day, and he was just pacing back and forth. Uh, they assumed he was waiting on another plane to perhaps go to the Caribbean's. But we do know that when his plane touched down in Antigua, 
basically the authorities there, the law enforcement there, they said he is not there. They said he is not there. Now, I'm assuming they are telling the truth. <laughs> they say he hasn't landed with his plane in Antigua. He hasn't landed on any planes in Caribbean. That's what they're saying. And this was updated like three hours ago. So um, hip hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs, 54 years old, the article says has not landed in the Caribbean islands of Antigua. Despite reports, he could have arrived there aboard a private jet. The island of prime minister, the island's prime minister, Gaston Brown, now, he is the one who is telling us this information. He's reporting this information to, hold on, I think I got somebody in the background. Oh, yeah, that's my girl. That's my sis. What's up, sis? Lo? How you doing? I think you might be. Sis? Hey. Okay. Hey, girl, hey. That's okay. <laughs> I was just saying that um the prime minister, I don't know if you heard, I know you're reporting on this too. A lot of people, a lot of bloggers reporting on this right now. Um, I was just telling the people that the prime minister um had just reported a couple of hours ago that Diddy is not there, that he is not in Antigua. His plane landed, but he is not there. So a lot of people were trying to say that he had left there like it was rumors yesterday right after the raid that he had left the country or was trying to leave the country while his sons was being handcuffed and you know, one of his daughters was right there, you know that's her house but it's in her name you know how those celebrities and rich people do he had the house in la and his company's name and also in his daughter's name but not in his name now i find that kind of strange but but anywho um the prime minister gaston brown said that he is not there this was as of uh, three hours ago so where in the heck is diddy what do you think is going on cislo do you think he's with attorneys? Do you think he's hiding out? Do you think he might be still trying to flee the country? Like, what do you think is going on? And the people in the chat, of course, you can comment your thoughts too. Feel free to drop down and get your eagle on in the chat and let us know uh, what you think about this whole situation. Uh, Cislo, I don't know what's going on with her connection, but she'll be back. I'm sure she'll be back. But something else that I wanted to talk about Okay, hold on. Let me. I have so many websites here. Let me make sure I'm pulling up the right one. Now, they did say somebody else was in custody. Custody. Let me pull that up here. Cislo, I don't know what's wrong with your collection. connection. What I say, collection? But you can come back. Feel free to come back. And if anybody else wants to hit the link, I'll drop the link in a second. As soon as I find this, uh, this story that I wanted to report on. Okay, here we go. All right, so a man allegedly to be Diddy's mule was busted for drugs in South Florida as P. Diddy's homes were raided. Now, this was reported an hour ago, an hour ago. So Miami, a man described in a lawsuit as rap mogul Diddy's mule was busted on drug charges at Miami Opalaka, Opalaka Executive Airport Monday afternoon. Now y'all know that's where Diddy was pacing back and forth, right? We showed y'all the videos. The videos is um trending of uh, him at the Opalaka Executive Airport. And that's when people thought he was trying to leave. But was it in fact the case of him trying to get his mule out of the country? Hmm. Anyway, they busted him on drug charges at the Miami Opelika Executive Airport Monday afternoon as the artist's homes on both sides of the country were being raided by federal agents. And before a plane linked to the superstar producer took off from the airport to a Caribbean island. Now, we know one plane had already left for Antigua. So was this plane for his mule?
Was Diddy also supposed to leave with the mule? I wonder how much drugs it was. But anyway, they said the arrest affidavit was brief and said the alleged drugs were found in Paul's bag. The name of the guy is Paul Brendan Paul, 25 years old. Why they always be, see, they be getting all these young people to do their shit. Anyway, 25-year-old Brendan Paul of Chagrin Falls, Ohio. They charged him with possession of cocaine and suspected marijuana lace candy. Marijuana laced candy at the airport around 4.30 p.m. Just before a plane linked to Diddy, whose legal name is Sean Combs, took off for Antigua. The arrest affidavit was brief, like I said. It says the alleged drugs were found in Paul's bag, but they made no mention of Diddy. They said a law enforcement source told Miami-Dade police working a different detail at the airport. So the law enforcement was already there working a different detail at the airport, and they were told to also look at the plane link to Diddy by Homeland Security investigators. Once inside the aircraft, the source said they found the drugs in Paul's possession. Again, they did not mention Diddy. Wonder why. It goes on to say, Paul's arrest was not related to Monday's federal raids on Cone's mansion on Star Island in Miami Beach and in Los Angeles, which were part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Homeland Security investigation agents haven't said specifically what the seizure or what they seized or were looking for, but the raid comes a month after a lawsuit was brought by a music producer who accused Diddy, 53, of using the, of using the producer using the producer and others to hire sex workers. Now we know that that individual, he had actually alleged that also they were running some sort of RICO thing, like they was doing all type of illegal activity from guns to drugs to trafficking, all types of things, right? Now they say though Paul or representative haven't reached um, by early Tuesday afternoon, a man named Brendan Paul is described as Mr. Cone's mule and a distributor of his drugs and weapons in the lawsuit filed against Diddy last month by producer Rodney Little Rod Jones. That's who I was just referring to. The one who says he got audio, he got, he got video, he got audio footage of a lot of shit that was going on with Diddy, okay? And he also mentioned Diddy's sons and Diddy associates. I don't know who's all involved, but Rodney, I told y'all earlier today, Rodney Lil Rod Jones also added Cuba Gooding Jr. to the lawsuit against P. Diddy because Cuba Gooding Jr. was also sexually assaulting him along with P. Diddy, both of them all together. Okay, now it says uh, the lawsuit, or hold on, let me back up, let me back up. It says, though Paul or a representative had been reached by Tuesday afternoon, a man named Brendan Paul is described as Mr. Cone's mule and a distributor of his drugs and weapons in the lawsuit filed against Diddy last month by producer Rodney Little Rod Jones. The man arrested and the lawsuit spelled Paul's first name slightly different. Now, I just want to stop there because... Little Rod says he had audio and video footage. Now, a lot of the other allegations, because after Cassie came out with her allegations and her lawsuit, that was quickly settled, like quickly settled, damn near by the end of the day. Uh, like four or five more people came out, including Little Rod. Now, so far, he is the only male he is the only male who has made these allegations against Diddy. The rest have been ladies. Some of them have gave out, given out their names, and some of them is Jane Doe's. But Little Rod, he has video and audio footage. I really wonder if it was him who actually got Diddy raided with the audio and video footage. And then it's a coincidence, right, that Rodney and his lawsuit just a little while ago, named 
Paul as Mr. Cole's mule, the one who handles his drugs and weapons. And then yesterday, while Diddy was walking around the airport, pacing back and forth in that video we saw, Paul was arrested with cocaine and marijuana lace candy. So I'm again wondering if little Rod was the main person behind the raid. Now, according to Paul's arrest form, he was taken to the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center. He did get out of jail on a $2,500 bond and his first court appearance is scheduled for April 24th. So he got a whole month before he got to go to court. The lawsuit filed by Jones, Lil Rod, in the Southern District of New York says Diddy, his staff and music executive knew all about and were involved in illicit and unwanted sexual activities in Florida, New York, California, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Wow. What's up, y'all? What's up, Chuck? Hey, what's up, Chuck? Look, one of my favorite food truck vendors. Ow. What's up, Vibrant Low? How y'all doing? Diana Duncan, how you doing, love? Everybody, make sure you like and share the video. Please and thank you very much. I'm going to drop this good old nasty piece of spanking like in the chat just in case anybody wants to hit the panel but back to uh, what i was reading okay so um, i to say i named all the states illicit and unwanted sexual activities in florida new york california and the u.s virgin islands they done took the shit out of the country now it ain't like we ain't heard that before right out of the country, Epstein, and we can name a lot of other people. But um, the lawsuit also claimed that Paul would pay sex workers in cash. Prosecutors from the Federal Southern District of New York are heading a sex trafficking investigation, and Jones is one of the people who are witnesses, sources familiar with the pro told the Miami Herald. Now, I wonder if any more witnesses is going to come out. I wonder. And I wonder also if any of the people associated with Diddy uh, who might have been involved in this might be charged. Because as we saw with Kells, it seemed like he went down with the boat. He went down with the ship all by himself. Now, unless I'm mistaken, I haven't heard of anybody um, of, of great value um, in, the, in that ring, in that trafficking ring that went down with him yet. Correct me if I'm wrong. I always stand to be corrected, okay? Because I don't know everything. But now, back to what I was saying. A source told the Herald that Diddy and his entourage arrived in Miami over the weekend and were there when federal agents searched his homes on Star Island and in L.A. Diddy and his entourage, including family members and friends, flew to Antigua Monday from the Opelika Airport after being questioned by federal agents at the airport, according to the source. Now, it says, let me, re let me repeat that. It says Diddy and his entourage, including family members and friends, flew to Antigua Monday from the Opelika Airport after being questioned by feds at the airport. Now, I don't know where they got their source, and this is where the confusion comes in. Because per the prime minister, we just read that, right? Per the prime minister, in the Caribbean, in Antigua, they said he ain't there. That, that's what they said. The prime minister said specifically, there is no credible information that he is here. To the contrary, he did not arrive on the flight yesterday to Antigua. That's what Prime Minister Gaston Brown said. So again, it's a little confusion there. Now, they said that some plane trackers said Cone's private jet did land in the Caribbean island of Antigua. Jack Sweeney, a private flight tracking expert, has posted the supposed route of the Gulfstream jet taking off from Northern California before stopping in L.A. and then flying on to land in Antigua at 10.21 p.m. last night, Easter Standard Time. Sweeney quoted sources as saying Diddy had not been aboard on flight. So that's why I said there's some confusion because the <laughs> article I just read, <laughs> the one who was reporting on his mule, his alleged mule being busted, said he was there with his family and friends and associates and 
you know, all that. But what we do know for sure is a black jet with registration N as a Nancy 1969C as a cat that had previously been identified as cones by CelebrityPrivateJetTracker.com stood on a tarmac at Antigua Bird International Airport on Tuesday and Tourism Minister Charles Fernandez said he believed it was the star's jet. All right. <laughs> Troll. Look at the troll. Y'all be coming up with them names quick. Diddy Love. Y'all know they call him Brother Diddy Love. I'm innocent. Take that. Take that. Okay. <laughs> Diana, you said I wish Justin Bieber could get the help he needs so he can tell his story. I do too. We're gonna, you know what? I'm a, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Okay. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But let's see. Where was I? Where was I? Okay, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. okay. Where was I at? Bird International Airport on Tuesday. Okay, tourism minister Charles Fernandez said he believed it was the Stars Jet, but both he and the Prime Minister said there was no information that Combs himself had been aboard. On the subject of who might have been aboard the plane, Prime Minister Brown said. Am told a Caucasian family, a family of four, don't know them. That is what the prime minister said. On board, there was a Caucasian family, a family of four, but don't know them. Now, what Caucasian family did, did he put on his jet? Y'all got some answers for me? Because I'm in confusion. <laughs> they said the jet had first landed at Codrigan, Codrigan, Codrington, Codrington Airport on the neighboring island of Barbuda in the twin island Caribbean state before continuing to VC Bird Airport on the main island, according to the Antiguan journalist Alicia George. Huh, who could this white family be? I don't know, y'all. I don't know about that. I know his sons is some of his sons is light skinned, but his sons, we saw, you know, a few of them was there on scene. They were, you know, in put in handcuffs, um, basically just so they could secure the location just so they can secure the location. His sons, as far as we know, were not arrested for anything. Uh, matter of fact, his sons were there, King and Justin, and one of his daughters, the one whose house is also in her name. The one whose Diddy's house is also in her name. They did say which daughter, though. So, you know, it was one of the daughters, but they didn't say which one. Now, um, as far as this mule, though, again, he don't go to court until next month. As far as me being confused about where did he at, I'm still in confusion. One source say he and his family there. Well, one source say some white people there. <laughs> I think Diddy's still here. I think he's still here. I don't know where he is. Um, hopefully he'll pop up soon. I mean, how, how long can you stay underground when this situation is going with your home? Your mule that got arrested? Some white people that got flewed out and your sons was put in handcuffs, all kind of shit going on. And he ain't nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. I'm going to type it in here one more again. Okay, let's see. Where is Diddy? Where is Diddy? Where is Diddy? Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Now, I want to read to y'all also that um, Diddy's lawyers, they said today his lawyer spoke out. And I still assume that he's with his lawyers. He's he's somewhere involved with his lawyers, his PR. Um, but they said that uh, the searches of the rapper's L.A. home and Miami properties by federal authorities in a sex trafficking investigation were a gross use of military level force and that Combs is innocent and will continue to fight to clear his name. Don't they all say that? 
look where Kells is right now. Now we have saw those pictures, right? I showed y'all pictures. They was online. Y'all saw the pictures that they had the tanks. When I was tripping when we was live yesterday, I was like, they got military style tanks. They in camouflage. Like, is they trying to get Ben Laden's twin? Like, what's going on? It's just Diddy. But you got to keep in mind, bruh had a lot of elite. I ain't gonna say illegal. Let me backtrack. There's so many illegal things going on in his world right now. That's why that came out. But he has a lot of guns, a lot of pistols. And I'm sure they had to be, they had to be prepared. So I'm sure that's why the tanks were involved. Even though the lawyers think that was an abuse of power. What do y'all think about that? Do y'all think it was an abuse of power? Now, this was the first public statement since Monday. Diddy ain't made a statement. This is his lawyer statement that they made. This is the first statement that anybody has made, not a PR, but his lawyers since the raid on Monday. They said yesterday there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Cone's residences, said his attorney, Aaron Dyer. They went on to say, there is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Again, we saw pictures of his sons, Justin and King. We saw their pictures and they were handcuffed and they was being walked away from the house backwards, being walked away from the house in handcuffs. So we did see that. Now the lawyer is saying that this was an abuse of force. They said the searches were part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. You know, they're going to keep repeating that. But um, they just basically saying the way his family was treated, the way his staff was treated was uncalled for. Cislo, you there? Hey, yeah, my phone crashed. I had to reboot that girl. Anyway. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, you're right, Diana. That's how they do it. That's exactly how they do it because I mean, how many times has pity been pity? I'm reading, I'm reading bro's comment. He called a piece shitty. I'm up here talking about pity, bro. Anyway, um, how many times has he been involved in a situation that involved guns? So the the and then on top of that, the uh source, the one who got the video and audio footage, the one who also filed lawsuits against him, um, he said that they have a lot of guns and a lot of drugs. So I'm pretty sure that's why they came in like that. What do you think, sis? You on mute if you're trying to talk. Yep, Diana, Rico charges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diana also says she don't think that was too much force. Hey, Teresa Ward, where they were you when they did that? that. Trump? <laughs> Where was they I? Have to, they have to do what they got to do. What they got to do with Diddy Child? What they got to do? Hmm? What they got to do with Diddy Child? Please tell me what they got to do with Diddy Child, and then I might answer you. Mm -mm. What? If you can't tell me what they got to do with Diddy Child. Child. Mm -mm. Child, think about all this. Where you think Diddy hiding? I don't know. Uh, hold on, girl. Get down. I'm sorry. Um, he's uh, he said he on spring break with the girls. What? He said he's on spring break with the girls. You know the girls are on spring break this week, and they are like, I think. Juries are sophomores in high school now. So, so they he always left going for yesterday during a raid to go on spring break. Girl, listen. Now, if that's true, sis, though, if that's true, maybe he was trying to spend some last moments with his children because he don't know what might happen. Girl, listen. Hey, he, he, listen, he try to he try to get as uh, uh, many enjoyable moments free as he possibly can. You hear me? 
Oh, oh, my bad, Teresa. Teresa said it does not. I responded to the Fed using a sense of force. The Fed is out of control. Oh. Girl. Yeah, he on spring break, all right. He gonna try to spring his ass out this country. That's what a lot of people think he's gonna try to do. But I think that um, it'll be really hard at this point. It'll be really hard for him to try to get out the country because everybody's looking for him. And his face is all over social media. And besides that, everybody already knew who Diddy was, so it wouldn't be hard to spot him. What bro say? Toss and well salad. Wale. Oh, Wale. Toss and Wale salad. Child. You said puff, puff, pee shitty coming for everybody when the smoke clears and a new single will be. Huh. Do y'all think Diddy would go down for this all by himself like Kells did? Because Kells, like I said, he went down with the ship all by himself. I, I, man, I'll be up there snitching. I don't care. I'll be snitching. Yep, he was there too. Yep, she was there too. Every celebrity I deal with that was involved in that air, we all going down. Because you know, once you get in jail, you get locked up, people be looking out for you for a minute. They might even look out for you for a few years. They might even look out for your kids for a minute, and then all that slowly goes away. And then you're just sitting there to rot in prison all by yourself. So, yes, I would definitely be a snitching, you know what, okay? I ain't even lying. I ain't even lying. Now, you said he better call Jake. <laughs> Ooh, child. <laughs> Man, 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 man. Hold up. But somebody did say something in the chat. Was that you, Diana? Who was that who said something about uh, Bieber? Because I was going to speak about that anyway. Okay, Diana. That was Diana. She has mentioned something about Bieber. Now, I did want to uh, dive into that only because it is trending right now. Videos of Justin Bieber and... Diddy is trending right now. So we're going to take a look at those, okay? Cislo, are you there? Hey, Verbal Assassin, my booski. What's going on? Y'all hit the link if you feel, want to. Bro, I know you probably out working. But uh, sis, Deanna, if you want to hit the link, feel free. Cislo's up here, but she's uh, on mute. I don't know what Cislo doing. But while Cicelo's handling her business, I'm going to present this video to you guys, okay? And this is what's trending, by the way, and we're going to talk about it. So let me hit mute. Okay, boo, you said, hey, I'm in traffic. Give me a minute. Okay, okay, we'll be here. Just hit the link when you get a sec. And I'm about to play this video real quick. What's this video that I'm about to show is uh, trending on Twitter. Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. He signed the Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when... When you know he he did his first album, I did Usher's yes. first album. I don't really I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next forty eight hours, he's with me. So um, and yeah, and, um, and, and yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy, Justin. He's in. You ever seen?
Now, about that video footage right there, that is one of the videos that's trending. I'm going to show the next one in a second. Now, bro said that man worth over three-fourths of a billion dollars. If Uncle Donald John can get a $450 million cash bond reduced to $150 million, P. Shitty about to go, P. Shitty about to dig deep and let everyone know. Take that, take that. You is a fool, bro. Laugh out loud just by the title, Diddy, One Step Ahead of Trump. Child. Whew. Okay, so about that video. Now, somebody had mentioned in the chat about Justin Bieber, how they hope, you know, I hope, I had hopes even of Tevin finally coming clean because I don't care what nobody says. I have a big feeling. I've always had a big feeling that somebody did something to Tevin. I always had a feeling that somebody did something to Tevin. I can't explain it, but that's how I've always felt. I mean, he was such a star, such a vocalist. I mean, all the girls loved him. He was just, just, I mean, at his prime, when he stopped and stopped performing and then next thing we know, he on drugs and he's been caught with prostitutes or out on the streets. And he, I mean, it was it was bad. It was bad what happened to him. And I'm like, we ain't never really got no explanation. Now with Bieber, he he's still doing okay. You know, he he ain't he ain't bad off like that. But a lot of people have a feeling that he might have been touched as well. Now, one thing that somebody said was, what 40-year-old wants to hang out with a 15-year-old? Unless, of course, it's your child or a close relative. Somebody else said, remember Justin Bieber had some gospel music out and Mace is a pastor and Black Coffee recently received Christ? There's a trend with Diddy victims and the Lord. I don't know. Somebody else said, you don't get a start at Holly Pedowood. Hold on, let me read that again. Somebody else said, you don't get a start at Holly Pedowood unless you do something with an older pervert. Too many are willing to do what they probably think is just a little at first for fame and fortune. Many will never admit what they did to climb the fame riches mountain. Somebody said when they was looking at this video, he tells Justin, when you're 16, you'll be ready, and then licks his lips in the creepiest way. Somebody said this video is really creepy. Somebody else said parents are just as much to blame for allowing this pervert around their children, all for money and fame. It's only obvious that he's disgusting pervert. Hmm. Somebody else said, keep wondering, where was Bieber's mother during these sleepovers? Like you just literally gave your child to somebody else's custody. Do they trust them because they're famous? Because they're well known? Because they're not just the neighbor down the street? Hmm. Huh. I'm going to read this one last comment for this video. Then we're going to go to the next one. Somebody else said, as sick as this appears, consider the music industry operates like a sex trafficking and grooming operation connected to the bigger compromising corruption operation that seems bottomless and vast. They tempt and groom vulnerable children and eventually seek to turn the abused into abusers. Then they own them. This is how they get Britney Spears, Eminem, Katy Perry, and T. Swift, etc., the P. Dittler is just one of several creeps in the entertainment industry that are recruiting and consuming the young. This probably traces back to the 1950s and 60s. They went on to say, I have no doubt that more will come out. It's completely unnatural that this industry is completely dominated by left-wing political pushers. If you are really conservative with real Christian values, you don't go anywhere in this industry. But if you can fake that image, they may have a spot for you. But you must play ball with them and literally sell them your soul. 
Now that, huh? That was a lot. That was a lot. That is what somebody said regarding uh, the video that we just saw. Hmm. Wow. It sound, man, I felt that. I felt that. I sure did. I felt that. Now, Diana said, yes, he is bad. His wife has conservator conservatorship over him. His mind is messed up. Wow. So they doing him like Britney? Cloud chasing moms, Michael Jordan scenario. I mean, Michael Jackson scenario. She, Diana said she was on drugs and still is. His father was never around. That's so sad. I would never. You could barely get my kid to spend a night with your kid when my kids was growing up. Barely. It was like less than five. Five or less. Five or less. Like one relative, besides my mom, but one relative. And maybe like four friends, four friends. That was it. That was it. I, I, uh, uh, signing my kid over for some music industry, entertainment industry, or anything else like that. Uh, uh, I wouldn't even shout. I wouldn't even send my kid off to no private school at a young age, no boarding school, anything like that. Because don't nobody treat your kids like you do. And some parents don't treat their kids like shit as it is. I digress. But yeah, I was really, really strict when it came to who was around my children. Tracy, Tracy, you said exactly. I'm sure you were referring to that post. Uh, let me see here. Hold on one second. Let me go get the other video. Let's see. And I don't know what's going on with Cislo. I don't know whether to drop her down or leave her up here because I don't know if her audio is messed up or what's going on with Sis. But I'm going to leave you up here for now, Sis, if you can hear me. Or drop down if you can't get on. I don't know what's going on with your connection. Okay, here we go. Here's the second video. Now, again, both of these videos that I'm showing you are both trending with Justin Bieber and Diddy. And here is the second one. Second one. Three. Hi, can you hear me? I can you hear you now. Okay, yeah, keep me, give me a okay. minute. Okay. Just give me a minute. I got the baby. Okay, here. all right. I'm about to play this next video. Okay. 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 Starting to act different, huh? No, you, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you have I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. You. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you have I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But. You, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. Did y'all see the behavior of Beaver? Now, both of these videos have been trending ever since yesterday. Ever since yesterday. That, 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 is, that was a weird interaction for me. Really sketchy. I mean, for a man that he probably spent a lot of time around, and then Diddy like, man, you ain't been hanging out with us like you used to. What's up? 
And Bieber's like, oh, well, um, well, see, uh, you had other people like trying to contact me. Uh, uh, I don't think you got my number. Uh, you want my number? Uh, uh, uh. That was just such a weird interaction. Somebody said Diddy needs to lock, be locked under the jail. And then somebody else said what's creepy is people didn't see all this before, along with many other artists. Many other artists. Many other artists. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Crazy. Just crazy. Uh-uh. Man, the, it's been years of allegations with celebrities and the entertainment business from movies to TV shows to music and allegations of predatory behavior with people's children. I'll be one of those parents, and I can name some parents that have actually quit their jobs to make sure they went everywhere with their child. And that's exactly what I would have to do. I would have to quit my job to make sure I went everywhere my kid went. Rehearsals, dinners, interviews, uh, everywhere. She was dressing to <laughs> hair and nails done, shopping, everything. I would be there. Wow. 402 Revenue, what's up? You said drop I got I'm sorry, I got my grandbaby here. That's okay. If you want to uh, drop down, feel free to drop the down. New one. And I'm trying to feed the children, but no, I wanted to come up here. But you know what? My thing, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, my thing is, I don't understand how anyone could just lead their kids to any. Is hello? Can you repeat what you said? Because you went out. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my thing. I said I don't get it. I couldn't leave my kids with just anybody. I couldn't allow my kids, other people, to over. I'm too paranoid. You understand me? And I'm like, I'm not about to leave my child with no. I don't care who you are. I'm not about to let you groom my child for none of that. And Somebody had asked Usher, would you let Diddy take your child under his wing? He's like, hell no. But he was under his wing. So it's like, you know, you got to really, really be careful who your child is being, you know, groomed by. He know what was going on with all that freak off kind of stuff. And listen, I heard somebody, I forget who it was. But it was somebody else close to Diddy that said that he was buying his children at a at a sex novelty store, the same store that Taylor Swift shops at, and all these other people that's into that dark S and S and M stuff. She uh they said that he was in there buying little gifts and stuff for his kids, butt plugs and all this kind of stuff. Now, why would you buy his daughters are 16? And they are very mature. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's no way you can, I ain't, I ain't leaving my kid with nobody that open and free with their children like that. That's just too much. It's too much. And you leave the door open for um so much to happen. If I had a nanny, it would have to be somebody, grandmama or something. Man, I would have to have cameras on her because some of them hateful and evil too. I'm not, I can't leave my children. And, and I mean, it's like for all of these, I think it's strange for people to say, you know, I need to take my son around and I'll take care of him. You, ain't, you can't go. You can't travel with him. Well, he can't go either because I leave my child nowhere. I'm going to tell you so a parent that wasn't like that. Tia and Tamara Maori, they yep. mama stay everywhere with them. Yep. They mama stay everywhere with them. And um, 
so many other people do too. You can't, no, nah, ain't no way, girl. And That's I'm, what I'm I got all I to quit my job. I'd be like, okay, if I really believe that you can be a mega star, I will invest in you. But I'm traveling with you. And whoever the producer Are is, whoever the is, you're going to pay for all of our room and board and everything. And you see what happened with the, the Nickelodeon kids? Uh -huh. And they, they was like, they didn't even know that was going on with that little co-worker. And he was talking about how that dude got him away from his dad and turned him against his father and all this that, and the other. And then he took advantage of him and did all these things to him. That's just and, like some um, of the stuff that uh, Kells was doing, turning kids against their parents. But girl, did you even what back when this child it goes way back, even Shirley Temple? She was talking about how yeah. they were beating and whooping on her. Yeah, people said it goes all the way Jewel back to Barrymore like the sixties and probably earlier than that. Jewel Barrymore was hooked on drugs at 12, 13 years old in a Betty Ford clinic. At 12, 13 years old. And where are they getting the drugs from? Mm-hmm. At 12 so and 13 you got all years old, not out in no car driving all around the city looking for no drugs. They are presented to you. That's how them kids get hooked on no drugs. And somebody in the chat said Usher was 13. Yep, Usher was 13. And you know what they said in one of the uh, areas or on the bloggers I read? They said, you know, a lot of these celebrities, they get children when they're young. And then when those children grow up, those children recruit children. But that that's that's how it goes. And trafficking too. When you're trafficking young children, they usually go out there recruiting children. That's how children keeps getting taken advantage of because they be trusting these older children or children around their same age. We done seen movies about this shit where people would kidnap kids and then they will send the kids to the parks or somewhere where there's a lot of kids and they'll tell them, oh, you want to come play with me? You want to do this? And next thing you know, you want to come to my house? Next thing you know, they're in the back of some white van. So we see this stuff all the time. And what's up to the people coming into the chat? What's up, Informer Sugar? How you doing? Um, let me read some of these uh, comments. Diana said his bodyguard told and Wright was, wait, his bodyguard told it and Wright was telling the truth. And no one really listened until Cassie came out. 50 Cent. Yeah, 50 Cent been talking about this forever. People have been saying lately in the past few days, but nobody Girl, wanted to listen to 50. 50 Cent was tripping me out of me one time. 50 was like, well, nigga, what? Everybody been, everybody been in North Sea. And I don't think people ignored 50. Because, hell, everybody was talking about Kells for years. But people still were stepping and step in the name of love. You know, hey, they were still reminding them of my Jeep and all this other shit. Ain't nothing wrong with a look. Child, people just, people just ignore it. They ignore it. They ignore it. But yeah, they say Diddy is done. Diddy done did it and Diddy is done. And if somebody said Usher don't even look right. Ooh. Now I seen Usher performing recently at the uh Super Bowl. Y'all don't think Usher looks right? I thought he looked pretty good to be after all these years. Say so what you think about Usher? Did you watch the Super Bowl performance? Remember we was discussing it, we did commentary on it. Diddy will be going to court for the rest of his days. Too many allegations. I agree. Susan, are we good, good? Are, are we still good? Nope, Usher. <laughs> Diana says some big names will be dropping. Yes, ma'am. What's up, Moe? You said he done, he done, did he? He done did it. Did he, did it. That's what they call him, Diddler. We cannot spend the night over nobody's house. Thank you. Man, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I used to beg my mama. This was before I had a lot more freedom. When I was about, I want to say, when did that CD come out? I want to rock with you, baby. All night long. 
Hold on, let me look up. Bobby Brown, rock with you, because I want to get the years right. Okay, rock with you came out in what year? Okay, Rock Witcher came out in 1989. Okay, 1989. So I was about 14, 15, around that area. Okay. When that song came out, I remember we had just started going to a new church. And my mother was really strict. And I couldn't go hardly nowhere at that age. I used to beg and beg and beg and beg and beg my mom to let me go over people's house. And this was church members. But my mama wasn't dumb, okay? She might not have been street smart or nothing like that, but she wasn't dumb. And I used to beg and beg and beg, and she'd be like, nope, nope, you can't go, you can't go, you can't go. Then I would involve the parents of my friends. Could you please ask my mom? Could you please ask my mom? We would be damn near in tears. My friends would be damn near in tears. Please, Sister Mary, please, can she come over? Please, we ain't gonna do nothing. We'll be good. We'll do this. Like, we was literally in tears every time to ask my mom, can I go to my house or my friend's house? Now, we stayed in the hood but they, at the time, stayed in the projects. We had used to stay in the projects, too. But by that time, we had moved from the projects to some houses in the hood. But these friends of mine, they still lived in the projects. And my mom was like, I don't want you in the projects. As if, shit, we might as well be in the projects. The fucking hood we live in It's just as ghetto as the projects. We just ain't all connected together. We just have a front and a backyard and a driveway, Okay. But anyway, every now and then she would fall for it. And I ain't gonna lie, man, we would tear them projects up. We would be all over the place. My friend's parents would be lying. They put off, yeah, Sister Mary, I'm gonna keep an eye on them. They didn't keep an eye on us. We was doing whatever the hell we wanted to do. And then where I was going, like the grandmother, of, because they had one of these, I don't know how y'all projects set up. For the people who might have lived in projects before, I know some of y'all is uppity and sadity and bougie, bourgeois, and y'all probably never been in a hood before, but some projects like ours here, there are two levels, uh, the main floor and the upstairs, and some of them are made for big, big families. So they were two-sided projects. So the same project on one side was basically doubled or mimicked on the other side. Two stairwells, two kitchens, two dining rooms, two living rooms. And if you had three or four bedrooms on one side, you got three or four bedrooms on the other side. That's how it was. So it was a lot of them. It was a grandma. It was my friend's parents. It was aunties and uncles. It was cousins. When I went to spend the night over their house, it was at least, at least six or eight girls in a queen bed. And mind you, we was all small then. We was about 100 pounds, maybe soaking wet, if that. So it was easy for us to, you know, feet. somebody's foot might be in your mouth when you wake up in the morning. But, you know. <laughs> and then on the other side would be all the boys. All the boys would be sleeping in a room on the other side. It was like 5, 6, 8, 9, 11 of them. So it was a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of motherfuckers that lived in this project, this two-sided project. And we had so much fun. We would run the streets. But one of the rules that the grandma had was if you don't come in the house by 11 o'clock, you can't get in. She would lock us out. And I mean, she did that because even as I got older, even when I became an adult and I was still running the streets, I would say maybe around 20, I want to say probably around 21. And they was living in a different hood then. I've always lived in the hood and still do now. And most of my friends and family also live in the hood. So it was one particular neighborhood called Redmond, Redmond. And we would be over there and that's where my friend's family was living then. And they had like two or three apartment units over there. But the grandma was the one that we always stayed with. The grandma would lock the door at 11 o'clock and say, y'all cannot come in after 11 o'clock. It don't matter. It can rain. 
It could snow. It could be a tornado outside. If y'all asses ain't in here by 11 o'clock, you ain't getting in. You talking about sleeping outside, sleeping on somebody's car, sleeping on somebody's porch. We used to creep and sneak in houses down the street, open the screen door, and sleep on somebody's porch. Man, we was ghetto. We was ghetto when we was coming up, okay? But my mama, I mean, I'm telling you, it took crying and snotting for her to let me go over somebody else's house. Unless it was family. Unless it was family. But when it came to friends and shit, I either had to lie and say I was going somewhere or I would, you know, get it, you know, just beg. Just beg till she said, yeah. But it was plenty of times I lied saying I'm going here and I was somewhere else. But yeah, my mama was strict. And we still got away with shit, so go figure. What's up, I Am Godspell? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, Diana, yeah, it was it was hard on a pimp growing up. <laughs> and then, of course, when my brothers got older, they got away with murder. They got away with everything. They can, Man, I remember when I was moved out the house, staying on my own, had my own apartment and everything, and thinking I'm really doing shit in my little one-bedroom studio apartment, right? That shit was like $350 a month. Now, this was in the 90s. So $350 a month was still super duper dirt cheap, even in the 90s. That I'm telling you, that's how small my apartment was. It was like you walk in, there's the living room, and attached to the living room was this little kitchen space, and then a bathroom going down the hallway and a bedroom. That it was it was nothing. You could blink an eye and be in the next corner of the house. But um, yeah, so I was staying there in that in that apartment. And my brothers used to always try to come over because they knew they could get away with shit at my house. They could do whatever they wanted, come and leave as they want. But my mother, she let them get away with everything. They didn't have the bed to go nowhere. It was times when they was younger and they was teenagers and she would call me begging me, could you please come with me to make these boys come home? They over this friend's house and that parent don't be sending them home and don't care if they come home or not. I go over there. They over there kicking and drinking, smoking, grown ass women hanging around my little ass brothers, doing all kind of shit. And the mama of their friends didn't give a damn. Just let them do everything they want. I'm over there. Get your ass on. Mama said, bring your ass on. Don't have me come in here and fuck y'all up. And I was that sister. Yeah, I used to fight my brothers. Don't don't have me come in here. And then all their friends be like, dang, man, man, they real gotta go home. So they would come home. But I'm telling you, my mom was way lax on them than on me. But with my sons, I was super strict. Y'all ain't going over nobody's house unless I was totally, totally 150,000% sure that you wasn't going to be touched at that house. And don't get home and don't think I ain't going to ask. Every time they went somewhere, is you okay? Anybody fuck with you? Do I need to put, do I need to get my pistol out the lockbox? No, mom, we good. We know how to handle ourselves. You be tripping. You know my sons. <laughs> We can fight people if they try to mess with us. And they be around here holding their fist up. Yeah, I do this, I do that. I'm like, yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right. But yeah, we eventually get caught. Yes. <laughs> Use the window lid on ground floor. Sister left it open. Man, I know I ain't the only one that used to do some ratchet shit back in the day, okay? I ain't the only one. Used to sneak out the house or wait till the parents go on and... Mm, uh, what you doing? Nothing. Your parents home? No. No. Do you want anything from the store? Yeah. Could you get me some? Um, uh, I'll take a Snicker and a strawberry pop and, and, and give me some Chico sticks while you at it. Now you got to hurry up though, because they're going to be home in like three hours. So hurry up, nigga. Yeah. I ain't the only one. Now, Cislo, she might have been a goody two-shoe, but I wasn't, okay? <laughs> you said good old days foot in the mouth. Boy, I can tell y'all some stories, but I won't tell y'all everything because I shall not and I won't incriminate myself. 
I shan't and I won't. <laughs> no, how, 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 how my homegirl say that? I shan't and I can't. I shan't and I can't. <laughs> you said my father done that. I was 19 also. <laughs> Eventually got caught. I remember cleaning skirtings, going laundry every Saturday morning. My two brothers going football. Man, I used to be so pissed. My mother used to be so hard on me, and my brothers just had it the easy way. Just, oh, they had it so easy. It was horrible. I'm like, why am I, why do I have to go make my brothers come home? I don't even live in this house anymore. I am not the parent. <laughs> and then what they start doing, they start coming over my house with all their friends. Except for the girls. I didn't allow no hoes in my house. They knew that wasn't no hotel. That was not the hotel, the motel, or the Holiday Inn. Now y'all can come over there and kick it with y'all homeboys, but y'all ain't bringing no... Uh -uh. <laughs> no, y'all ain't been bringing no chickens, no hens, no scallywags, none of them over to my house. Nope. Show sure wasn't. <laughs> You said first time joining your chat. I think you're brilliant. Oh, thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. <laughs> but since Lo, I think she's over there still feeding her grandchildren. She got a new baby over there. So that's about all I wanted to talk about. Um, all the updates I had on P. Diddy. Of course, man, when he turn up, I'm gonna have to come back live. Okay. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on the news and keep my eyes on articles cnn you know fox all that and, <laughs> and um see if he turns up eventually because he gotta turn up right he gotta turn up i don't know if it's gonna be in the us of a or if it's gonna be in the caribbean or if it's gonna be in africa or i don't know but he gotta turn up sometime right so on that note everybody who's watching who's gonna watch the replay Please make sure you like and share the video. Please make sure you subscribe to the hood table if you're not subscribed. And if you want to become an official hoodie, all you have to do is hit the membership, hit the join button. Thank you so very it's much. Now, so said, my brothers was weed smoking with their friends, no hoes. Oh, everybody smoked back in the day. Everybody. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. Now, everybody was smoking back in the day. That was that was before they was putting all those chemicals in the weed. I don't know what they put in the weed these days. See, I don't smoke that shit because I, it had me hallucinating and talking to myself and rocking back and forth like I'm in Debo's bird pigeon coop. No, no, I don't smoke. No, no, this new age, this new era weed. No, I don't. But anyway. <laughs> Make sure y'all like and share the video. What's up, sis? Like, subscribe, and, and, and support this channel. The Hood Table 402 doing big things. Big thing popping. P hey, we be trying. We be trying. We be trying. We be trying. <laughs> But yeah, and my girl Sislo, I'm going to drop her uh, channel down too because my girl Sislo, she is trying to make her way so that she can get monetized as well. So I'm going to drop her channels in here as well. So if y'all could please do me a favor, please and thank you very much. Please click this link that I'm about to drop in the chat and please subscribe to my girl, my sis, Miss Sislo's channel. She supports this channel, has supported us from day one. We appreciate her support. It's like no other. That is my sister from another mister. And she goes live on her channel as well. And she also has a backup channel as well. Her main channel is called Miss Sis Low. That's the main channel. So I just dropped the link to the main channel. She does also have a backup channel. And I'm going to drop the link to her backup channel as well. Because we're trying to get multiple channels monetized, right? I always say you got to have more than one YouTube channel. If you're a serious content creator, you need to have more than one YouTube channel. Because you never know, people get their channel swipe, they get strikes, 
They get haters. Since so you got a little feedback, babe, you got a feedback, babe. I got a fan on because I'm in the kitchen cooking, but I also have a channel coming up and, uh, with my grandbabies. We're going we're gonna to start a channel. And it's going to be called Me and Them Kids. Oh, I like Me that name. And Me and Them Kids. Hey, bro. What's up, bro? I know you out there working. I know you out there hustling. I ain't doing shit. I've been up here binge watching. You've been up you here binge. You tell me you ain't doing shit and you didn't jump on the panel till just now. We've been on here an hour. Because, girl, my wife got me watching this BMF, girl. It's juicy, girl. Oh, for real? You just now starting to watch BMF? She on second season, girl. I just started watching about four. Oh, four. Sisto, they late. <laughs> they late. Man, you know I don't really watch. Caught, caught up so we can do reviews together for real. I know I just had I had to take me a down day, man. I, I ain't about to kill myself. Shit. Well, <laughs> I, no. it is on season three, episode four, just aired um last week. So as soon as y'all get caught up, please let me know because I do reviews on it every week. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're just chilling, just sitting up here shooting, you know, shooting, shooting the shit, laughing and doing what good couples do. You know That's how we right. do it. Black Just enjoying love. our new place, black girl. Love. Black love. I enjoying love. our new place, girl. It ain't the projects, but the damn it ain't the mansion, but the damn show ain't the projects. I know that's right. Moving Shit. on up. Hey, we 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 on we on the lower level too. Yes, ma'am. Got well, the dog. I, I I like I said. Make sure I got a bedroom. Make sure we get invited to the cookout, to the housewarming party. Okay. Oh well, you know, yeah, yeah, no doubt. The shit, we 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 working on some things, girl. Cause you know, we we ready. We about ready for our channel. So we just we situated it in now. So now we gotta start coming up I'm with so some things. Excited, Cislo, ain't you excited? They about to start a channel. Yeah, be out here. I, I'll be out. <laughs> Hey, you know, got to get the missus ready, you know, get her together, because I don't know. I don't know. Some kind of bugs. I don't know what the hell going around. It's like, brother, we can't do nothing. Hell, we shit. We breathe too hard. We get sick. What the hell going on? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There's a whole lot of folks. Well, there's a whole lot of people that I, even I've just been around these last few days just making deliveries. I've just been outside. They just been sound like they got rattlesnakes in their lungs or something, you know. Y'all like, need to start sucking on some lemons. All right, what they do? I'm I'm good. It's just the fact that you know you get when you got when you in the you in a college town, you know ninety five percent of these asses don't wash their hands when they use the bathroom, digging their nose and ass and every damn thing else, and they touch everything and you don't know what they didn't touch, whether it's outside the stove, you don't know. <laughs> so unfortunately that comes with the territory. It's, let's just say it's just like Let's just say it's like a a, a city, a, a big ass citywide daycare. A whole, a whole, <laughs> a, a <laughs> citywide daycare. Full of yeah, everybody nose running, ass running, just sick, hacking, hollering, mama, dad, you know, shitty diapers, pissy diapers, runny nose, everything. Oh my gosh. Y'all yeah, know how these folks are nasty out here. But anyway, y'all know I've been enjoying it in the background. I just want to say this about uh, P. Shitty real quick uh, before y'all get up over here. I know one thing. Y'all know when this man come out with his new album, it's going to be Take That. Take that, take that. Take that, take that. Off that chain. That, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, bang a lane for some chain. What's so, up? Bro, thank you I for know. tuning in, Diana. I appreciate you. She said, enjoy myself. Good contact. I have to finish my hotel. Ooh, that sounds good. I know, right? Yeah, we just up here chilling. You know, it's Taco Tuesday, so. Y'all making tacos? Man, you said you making tacos? I wish I had some tacos. I don't feel like yeah. it. No doubt. Maybe I should go get me some tacos. For sure. Yeah, we just waiting for the burger to um, thaw. Now, I'm trying to figure out why these jackass clowns is out here. I don't know I don't too much like them people with badges and they just pulled all up. Looking all crazy. Well, I don't know. Where do you think Kelly is? I mean, I know we don't know where he is right now, but what do you think is going on with, I said Kelly. I meant to say uh, Diddy. Where do you think he at? Diddy, Diddy, Diddy chilling. Diddy ain't running from nothing like folks think. 
Because if he was, I don't. If he was, he would have been gone. Come on, man. When you almost work, when you all, when you work over three quarters, when you work over seven, eight hundred, damn near nine hundred million dollars, you're not about to sit your ass around if you knowing that you are in some child trafficking or any type of trafficking or anything got to do with anything. So I don't know. You know, I'm not saying that he's innocent and didn't do anything, but I, I mean, I don't know. It's just it's a lot going on. So hey, I, I don't know. I, it's just. If he did what he did, then, hey, he's going to have to deal with his repercussions and consequences. If he didn't, then the world is going to pay for real. But until that comes open, I mean, the only thing we can do is really, just like we do for anybody and everybody else, you know, we can really do is pray for the brother and hopefully we get our shit right. You know? Well. You know, but if not, then, you know, I don't know, you know. I mean, it's sad, and it's sad if it's like that. It's you really know? sad. Because it's like, bro, y'all ain't learn. It ain't even about kills. I mean, y'all ain't learn. Ain't nobody learned yet. They ain't learned from Uncle Bill. Well, a woman over 40, That's 50 years ago talking about a woman yet. over 40, something that happened in the 60s or 70s, talking about that he, he gave her an upper and downer when everybody was doing uh, quaaludes and uppers and downers and right. popping pills and, and drinking booms for him and uh -huh. Barnes and James and sh and shaking their tail feathers with with they with they you know they was on their hippie moments and you know they was out there for that BBC and she wanted some of that old Big Bill that Big Bill Cosby she wanted her pudding popped <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know I don't know. Yeah, she, she want her pudding popped. So they're going to come out and talk about Bill Ray. You see Camille, Mama Camille ain't said shit. She's like, look, my husband, y'all just mad because my husband and his his little, his little other friends, they want to go ahead and buy up one of these networks. Y'all got mad. And on top of that, that house that they own in Massachusetts is sitting on a major oil rig in mine. So, yeah, it's deeper than what folks know. Oh, yeah, I believe you. Mm -hmm. But we're going to see about Diddy. We're going to see about Diddy, though. We're we going to see about that. Now, as far as Uncle Donald John, they better leave that man alone. Y'all think I'm playing. That's y'all new president. Donald, Uncle John, man. Forget yeah. that red orange head. Y'all, yeah. 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 I'm trying to tell y'all. He's going to be y'all next president. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm going to move to Antifa with Diddy. <laughs> oh no, take that. He's about to buy up the island. Yeah, he's about, he about to buy up the island. He's going to rename it. Take that. Yeah, uh -huh. but no, nah, I'm just chilling, y'all. Y'all know I'm enjoying life. We, we actually, it's funny because I, even, I even had, I even watched the Wendy Williams uh documentary with the wife the other day, yesterday. It was, it was Did interesting. You like it? it was interesting. It kind of, it kind of, it kind of, it, it kind of got to me on certain levels because I, I, I really feel bad for I that single man. At the end of the day, I mean, everybody know Wendy is the is the gossip queen. You know, they know she's the queen of drama gossip, but. I always like Wendy. I know some people don't, but she I'm not she she, she like doesn't deserve she doesn't family deserve family. the shit that she's dealing with. Now right. I'm not gonna say that the alcohol caused a lot of that dementia, but the the dope the dope and the alcohol well, over the years. Alcohol. Yep. Because alcohol just don't do that. I mean, they can, but that's a slower onset compared to you know shit when right. you in that life and you out at them parties and. Yeah. You know them, them, them red carpets and them private, them Uber private. Everybody and, uh, does drugs in the industry. You know, at the mansion, you know, where there's only a select flu of celebrities that you wouldn't think your favorite celebrity walking around there in their BDSM outfits, and you know, got your favorite actresses walking around there with a with a with a foot long dildo hanging off of a strap, ready to run. You know, all kind of shit. You know, they do that freaky shit. They like that shit. You know, leave the phones out in your car. You know, your car, you got to park a half a block down the street and you got to walk with a mask on and, you know, all kind of shit. You got to be cloaked up. You know, they don't yeah, want nobody. Exactly. Leave your phone. No phones allowed. None of that. Mm -hmm. You ain't getting to none of that. You ain't even driving. You going in there. You basically better go in there with what you got on your back. Yep. Hey, you better not even have on no belt buckle. They're going to take that too. Luminati. It might be all. Luminati. It might be an all naked party. I don't know. I don't want to go none of them. I really believe that some of that Illuminati has to do with 
underage people. They ain't got to do with no Illuminati. Illuminati is just a dog on me cover up for all this shit that folks want to do out here with that bullshit. They illuminate it. Yeah, they, they, the illuminated ones don't participate in shit. Like, they do what they don't. don't real, illum people. real illuminated ones is running the world. They too busy running the world and, 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 and messing with the price of gold fluctuations by the biggest well-planned organizations that be involved in the most illegal shit. So, I yeah. can't say for sure, yeah, like the Bohemian, you know, all that, the Bohemian, Bohemian Conference, all that stuff where they be out there in Northern California, hey, on, all out in the woods. Hold on, bro. This one, do you want to speak? Because you'll, uh, yeah, my bad. Oh, I'm done. I just want to get her a chance to speak if she wants, and we can mute because she has background noise. Go ahead, Cecil. Go ahead. Oh, I, I, I just forgot I need to mute back. I'm sorry. Oh, I just wanted to make sure I gave you a, a chance to speak, and we go on mute. But I, okay. All right, well, that's about all I wanted to say as far as um, the updates on Kills. Um, I don't know what else is going to come out. I know I talked about earlier about more accusations. Even Cuba Gooding Jr. is now in the lawsuit. Um, they then uh, arrested Puff Diddy's mule, Puff Puff Daddy's mule, uh, who tried to get all those drugs on his jet. They arrested him. I don't know what else is going to happen in the next 24 hours. It could be any and everything. So I'm going to just keep my eyes on the news and watch the updates, and I'll probably be back tomorrow. Uh, sometime tomorrow, if we get further information, more information or more updates on what's going on with Diddy. But in the meantime and in between time, thanks everybody for tuning in, joining the panel with us. Make sure you like and share the video. Subscribe to the Hood Table if you're not already subscribed. Also, feel free to hit that uh, join button to join our membership if you like. And if you want to donate to the platform, dollar sign the Hood Table 402. Thank you very much. Appreciate everyone. Appreciate everybody's support on the hood table. We are steadily growing and we could not do it without any of you. So I do appreciate you guys and stay tuned. We don't know where Diddy is. Where is Waldo? Where is Waldo? Where is Diddy? Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Ah. <laughs> bad boy. Bad boy. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That's right. That's right. Oh, Lord. Take that. All right, y'all. I'm about to get my butt off of here and enjoy the rest of my evening. I'm, I, you know what? I've been binge watching on uh, Equalizer with Queen Latifah. That's what I've been binge watching on. And that is really good. I am on season two of that. So if anybody is interested in that, it comes on, it's on Paramount app. Um, CBS, but it's on Paramount. Hold on, I'm gonna mute you real quick, sis. <clears throat> I don't know why every time you hit my panel, you have that feedback. That is so weird. Because <laughs> her and the devil always having a touch. Right. What be going on over there? <laughs> well, she didn't want. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so, um, sitting in front of the fan. Why you well? Why you can't turn the fan off? Is it is it ninety five degrees over there? <laughs> you know Detroit is hot even in the middle of the it winter. It just snowed here last night, mate. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anywho, and I got I'm in an apartment and I'm cooking and the oven. Is oh, cold, so yeah. okay. Okay. Well, okay. Well, all right. Well, I'm about to get off of here, you guys. Again, um, if you guys uh, hear anything, feel free to hit me up on IG, Facebook. I'm the Hood Table everywhere. We on Facebook, IG, TikTok. If y'all hear some breaking news, y'all be like, hey, the Hood Table is popping. It's going on. You know, you need to go live. Make sure y'all hit me up because sometimes I catch information late. So, but I will be keeping my eyes on the articles and on the news. When it, in regards to Diddy. So on that note, stay safe, be blessed, remain vigilant at all times, and always remember to keep it hood. Yeah, brush them teeth. Brush them teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and watch out for Diddy, y'all. Watch out for Diddy. He out here recruiting for that. Yeah, for that stay thing. away. No, stay away. Hey, he's promoting for that new album. 
grabbing some dangalangs for some change. Y'all better watch stay out. Away. No, stay away from Brother Love. <laughs> That's childish. All right, y'all. Love you guys. I'll be good. Love you on purpose. All right. Love you Later too. for now. Later for now. Later for now. I'm out. <laughs>